Hello Taurus and happy birthday. Welcome to your general reading for May 2023. You can find the links to both my extended reading to this video and to my Etsy shop uh, down below. Taurus, um, my meditation was quite interesting. In fact, um, I got two visions. The first vision was really sweet. It was of a, a young man climbing a garden trellis to leave some flowers on the windowsill of uh, someone he really cares about. I'm assuming it was her bedroom window. Um, it was so sweet. You're, you're in love with someone, Taurus. Um, then I heard going against tradition. So clearly this has to do with some sort of, you know, family, religious, cultural, some sort of norm that you have um, become accustomed to. This person you're connecting with could be very different from you. Um, the next vision I saw was actually a movie scene from the movie Witness. And for those of you who don't know it, I'm sure YouTube has a lot of clips, but the scene in particular <laughs> was um, a little saucy. It was the scene where uh, Kelly McGillis's character removed her cap, K-A-P-P. -P. She's Amish. She set her cap on the table and she walked out to the front yard where Harrison Ford's character, um, Book, John Book is his name, was putting up a birdhouse and she went out with intent to have a little moonlight tryst, and I believe they did. Although it was a rated G movie, pretty much, and they you know, they cut the scene. But an Englishman and an Amish woman? Mm, probably not. I mean, you know, by normal standards. But it was very interesting. So going against tradition. Taurus, let's find out what this is all about. Let's take a look at the energies surrounding you in May. The gut feeling and certainty you feel about this is your intuition. Trust it. Your higher self knows what is best for you. You may have been doubting how you feel about a particular person, Taurus. And I think the divine is saying, um, wow, okay, they told me to look at this one too. Find your tribe. Seek out friendships and romantic partners who contribute to your soul's growth. Those who deplete you will keep you stagnant. You may feel as though you have to look to your tribe for approval. You may have found someone outside of your normal group of people. The acceptable, I just heard, the acceptable group of romantic candidates. Hmm. Okay, let's see what comes through. What do you have for Taurus Spirit for May 2023? Wow, guys. Letting go, releasing the need to control allows the universe to do its job. Okay, wow, let's see what we've got here. It sounds like you are in a connection that has perhaps been severed in the past. Something happened between you and someone. Taurus, did you cut this connection off because this is someone who didn't fall into that spectrum of acceptable people? Spend some time in nature. Okay, we have evolution. The situation or relationship you're in is about to shift in powerful ways. Your souls have incarnated together by mutual agreement. There's something you must do or clear in this lifetime. Greater awareness awaits. Okay, I just got a download. Spirit is telling me that whomever I'm connecting with in this reading, you've had a challenge lifetime after lifetime coming together. This might be triggering for some of you. 
this could be a connection that has been um, on the back burner or was even forbidden or withheld for some reason, maybe because of background differences, culture, religion. If, if this connection is intended to upend that, and you will know if, if this is your story, I feel like I just heard olive branch. Okay, we have forgiveness here. I wonder if it's, you know, someone is saying, you know, I, I, I'm not going to fight this anymore. I don't know. Wow. Teacher, you're involved in a situation that will help evolve you or someone else. Lesson should be considered a gift during our human experience. I feel like for whomever I'm connecting to, you're resolving this situation. You're resolving this dynamic and this block in this lifetime. Divine plan at work. Spirit has a plan for this connection and I'm, I'm feeling like, you know, the reading may have some ups and downs. I almost feel like when we look at the environment, who you're with, who you answer to, who's whispering in your ear, yes or no, if there's naysayers, I have a feeling there's going to be some pushback. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's look at the energy surrounding this stranger curiosity. <laughs> stranger, I'm getting that there are just differences. There's differences. Okay, let's see what we've got. What do you have for Taurus spirit regarding this situation? I heard it could get heated. Now, I don't know what that means. It could be like hot. You know what I mean? Hot. <laughs> and it could get heated with people. So probably both. Show us the energy in this situation. What's the most significant influence around this spirit? Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that unmarked trail I'm f on at the bottom of the deck we have many masks the authentic self I feel like this is a bit of an unchartered territory for someone look at that we have contract again sacred contract you've agreed to do this you might both be nervous because you're entering into a connection that is maybe going to be difficult to explain to those around you. But, you know, I'm, I'm coming back to that find your tribe energy. Spirit is leading you to someone who is, I just heard, a perfect compliment. Wow. Ah, wow. Yeah. A heart, blood in their veins, a brain. You know, this is someone who's not so different after all. And maybe that's the kind of conversation you're going to have with your family members or those who may oppose this. Heart, home, compassion. I feel like there's a little bit of um. There's a push-pull energy with this. I'm feeling like I, you know, I want to honor and please family i want to ensure that that this isn't about going against anything it's about honoring me yeah it's about honoring me whoever i'm reaching you are deciding that your heart belongs to someone and you you you're going against everything you believe to to go there Oh my God. Okay. So let's get out the tarot. Whew. If somebody watching is Amish, which I doubt that would be, that would be so interesting. Sorry. I have my comments turned off. Policing scammers has been not fun. So I, sorry about that. But if you send me a message telepathically, I'll probably get it. All right. What's going to unfold for Taurus. Oh, 
<laughs> the tower. I love it. God bless the tower. We have the star. I hope we don't see the five of wands, but I feel like there may be a little of that. Eight of swords. Four more cards. Okay. Second card. Third. And the final. Okay, two cards. All right, we have, whew, what a spread. Okay, the tower, the star, the eight of swords, two of wands, three of wands, fool, the page of wands, I'll put them in order, and the ten of cups. Okay, this is so clear to me. It's so clear to me, and you're so burdened. You're so drawn to the person that you feel this incredible connection with and the double-edged sword is that Taurus you know that you have to surmount this major obstacle which could be family religion beliefs whatever I just saw 11 11 um, so we begin with a tower moment let's take a look at what that's all about clarify the tower the four of swords I think there's been an epiphany. I think you've been disconnected from someone and you're realizing, um, yeah, you've kind of held back. This is someone from your past. You also might be reflecting on your childhood. You may even have, you know, been with a childhood sweetheart or there's, there's something about the past that you might feel you have to honor. And so you've held back your feelings, you've held back any gesture or overture toward this person. You're feeling super trapped by it. Let's begin though with the, the star. I wanna go in order. The star. Ace of Wands, wow. There's that moonlight tryst happening <laughs> under the stars. I think you want to heal a connection. You feel a lot of passion for this person. Let's look at the Eight of Swords. Why are you feeling trapped? Knight of Swords in reverse. I think you're concerned about the anger that will come from those around you. <laughs> look at that. You're not going to fight it, though. If you've been holding back I, I feel like I, I'm kind of getting this um, th there's no argument to be had there is no argument to be had you're looking to your future but you have a decision to make two of wands you're missing this person look at that four 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 six of wands I think you realize that you either let someone go or you didn't move forward with something and you're regretting that. So now it's, you know, onward, upward and looking to your future, which frankly looks pretty good. Three of Wands. There's the card that, okay, this is where the heat happens. And so, you know, it's interesting that we have it adjacent to heart, home, compassion, because I feel like you want to say to your family, this is not about disrespecting tradition. This is about honoring me. The fool's journey starts at zero. That's what the tarot major arcana is all about. And the fool is starting over, starting again. You are on the road to your Ten of Cups. And I feel like perhaps the opinion of others is burdensome. Let's see what you're going to say to the people around you. What are you going to say to them? Justice reverse. I think you're going to address any perception by the people around you that, you know, 
it isn't right, it isn't fair, and I, I think that it's kind of skewed, honestly. Taurus, I, again, I, I, I think that this is a battle that you're, you're just not going to fight it. You're not going to fight it. Let's look at your journey. Starting again, I, I feel like you're whistling, oh my gosh, in my vision. See how whimsical the fool looks? I, I was almost getting like this happy-go-lucky young, it was a young man climbing a garden trellis. Like, I just need to, I need to, oh my gosh, the fool is holding a flower. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm getting into it with you, Taurus. You ha you want to give someone flowers. You you want to express yourself. I'm even getting with this uh, Taurus, whoever I'm reaching, and and this can be vice versa. You could feel completely liberated. Fool, clarify the fool. Well, we know that you're moving on. Your life is about to begin. Look at that. You're going to speak your truth. You're having the strength to move forward, to share how you feel. You have no idea how this is going to turn out. Because on the other end of this is someone who's very different from you, whose family may be doing the same thing. Are you traveling to see this person? Are you reaching out to communicate? What is it you're going to say? What are you going to say? I don't want to wait anymore. I've been waiting long enough, hanged man. Let's look at this Ten of Cups. Taurus. What a nice reading. Oh my gosh. I'll see if I can find a clip of that movie. That was really, it was actually sweet. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. King of Wands. You are moving passionately toward your future. This is someone moving passionately toward you. I feel like this is a very take charge energy, regardless of gender. You're going for it. There's something you want. You see that this could be a really successful connection. And you said no in the past and you've been regretting it. You've held back and your tower moment is the realization, what about me? Wow. Anything else Taurus needs to know? The Hierophant. Well, there's your card. <laughs> and there's the little traveler, the Page of Wands. I always say that this is my travel card. You are perhaps going to see someone. This could be a trip. The Hierophant representing of course, the sign of Taurus, but also family, tradition. You're going to deal with that. And it could be that there are some, you know, painful repercussions around family, religion, culture. I feel like you are heading toward long-term commitment, though, because you see that whatever the, the, the paradigms are that have um, kept you apart, kept you stuck, really don't matter in the scheme of things. I think it's been a long time coming when I look at this. Perhaps whoever you're disconnecting from is going to hold it over your head, right? Just forgive them. Um, some people take a while to come around when it comes to things like this. They will. They'll learn. They will see you happy, Taurus, and they won't have anything to say about it. But congratulations. All right, let's get some advice for you. What a nice reading. Scary. I mean, I get it. I get it. Whew. Spirit is ready to offer you guidance. All it requires is an open mind and a request for assistance. The divine wants to lead you where you're meant to be. And if that is you're healing this relationship, um, yeah. You are showing the people around you that love, love has no boundaries. 
I'm getting very strongly with this teacher energy, look at, and we have it twice, that you are showing the people around you what unconditional love is all about. And it has nothing to do with your skin or where you worship or who you worship. Love is love. They're going to learn a lot from you. The family, the friendships, your tribe, they're going to learn a lot from this. Anything else? Perspective can help you understand this situation. Try to look through a new lens to see their point of view. You may need to also understand the point of view of the person you're moving toward or who's moving toward you. So there's, there's two sides to this really crazy equation. <laughs> Anything else? Woo, that flew. Acknowledge and learn from the past. Wow. And I feel like it is, um, you know, don't let a second chance pass you by. You're being given a chance to do something over. What will you do differently? I think acceptance is going to be really important. I love this reading. Taurus, uh, we're going to find out what comes next for you. And I'm going to look first at your current tribe, your family, your community. Um, and then we're going to look at what comes next for you and your person in the extended. The link is below if you choose to join me there. If not, thanks for being here and I will see you mid-May. Take care.